welcome back to my channel today i wanted to do something a little different and a little fun i know as a new youtuber it can sometimes be really hard to come up with content especially in the budgeting community i know sometimes it can be redundant every week seeing um, me post my envelopes and things like that so i wanted to do something different and i came up with 10 questions and i am tagging everybody in the budgeting community, including you. If you're watching this video, I am tagging you. If you are a YouTuber, I am tagging you. If you are in the budgeting community, I am tagging you. So without further ado, here are the 10 questions and here are my answers. Okay, so question number one is, what was your last large purchase and do you regret it? You are looking at my last large purchase. It is a sideboard for my living room. Um, do I regret it? I got this from Target. I do not regret it. I actually really, really like it. Um, and coming from our house, we literally got rid of almost all of our furniture um sorry i had to turn you and adjust you i we got rid of like almost all of our furniture and we didn't really have a lot and um this was one of the purchases that we made and i really really like it so number two what sinking fund are you most excited to fully fund and why um the sinking fund that i am most excited to fully fund is our christmas sinking fund i'm always excited to fully fund that one i love christmas i love having a cash only christmas and my favorite part about it is black friday shopping with my husband that is our tradition every year we take $300 cash for each of us and we go out on Black Friday and we get coffee and we leave our kids with my in-laws and we spend the whole day shopping together and buying whatever we want. So that $300 is essentially our Christmas gift to ourselves and we buy whatever we want and it's really fun and I love it and I look forward to it every year um, except for this past year we didn't get to go. So I am hoping there are going to be some changes in our life this year. Um, universe willing and we're able to do it this year so we will see question number three who is the most influential youtuber for you while you are on your budgeting journey for me there are two specific ones I really really like Jordan Page and I really like pennies into pearls if you guys don't know them I will try and link their YouTube accounts below they are wonderful women they have such great insight on budgeting and um, budgeting while you have a family and prioritizing different things and I just think it's really great that they've found their niche in the community and they're able to reach such a wide audience and I love that they're teaching women to take control of their finances and their budgeting. And I just think it's really, really great. So check them out, definitely. They are awesome. Question four, what is the biggest misconception about budgeting in your opinion? The biggest misconception about budgeting, I think, is that it is some sort of um, punishment almost people act like if they have a budget well they can't do anything or they can't go anywhere or they can't buy anything or they can't have anything which I feel like is so far from the truth um, if anything I appreciate what I have more and I shop around more and I buy better quality items now because I know the cost of buying cheap and then having to replace. So I feel like I have, um, I just have better things in my life now that I budget. I don't know, I think it's it's affected a lot of different facets. Um, but I do think that people who don't budget view budgeting as very restricting and very limiting. And if anything, I think it's more freeing. So I don't know, that's just my opinion on it. But so what do you think is the biz, biggest misconception? Um, and question five, what is one item you splurge on no matter what? 
You guys know how I feel about my Starbucks. So that is definitely a splurge. Um, no matter what anybody tells you, Starbucks and avocado toast are not the detriment and cause of debt in your life. Do not let anybody tell you that. Don't let anybody take away your Starbucks or your avocado toast. If that's what you like, get it. But I will say that the one item that I splurge on the most would be um, organic food. Um, organic food is obviously more expensive, um, but I do feel differently when I eat it. I think it's healthier. Um, that's just my personal opinion. And eating healthier and taking supplements and living a healthier lifestyle helps me and my family to keep our um, medical costs down. So I will absolutely splurge on organic foods, meats, fruits, vegetables, the whole thing. Question six. If you have a partner, are you on the same page with your budget goals? If you don't have a partner, will budgeting and money goals be a conversation that you have early on in your next relationship? So, I am married. My husband and I were raised completely different, <laughs> especially where money is concerned. I was raised by a single mom. We had absolutely nothing. Um, we were basically on the precipice of losing everything for my whole life. So we were constantly in struggle mode. We were constantly in survival mode. Um, but also in that same vein, she was also not the greatest with money. Um, so I did learn a lot of bad habits very early on in my financial journey. Um, as soon as I could open up credit cards, I opened them up, maxed them out didn't make payments, um, took out a lot of student loans, and still recovering from that. <laughs> My husband was very blessed in his family. Um, they were very financially secure. Um, my husband was always really well taken care of and well provided for almost to a detriment so that when we got together, I had bad financial habits and my husband had no idea about finances so we were both really trying to like figure this out on our own without destroying each other um but we have definitely found a very wonderful middle ground now and we did that together and i'm very proud of how far that we have come um i will say on this whole budgeting thing my husband was not on board um he felt very much like we were living paycheck to paycheck um but that was also because he didn't um, ever really look at the bank account um, and now that he sees where our money is going and he sees the balances in our accounts um, he is very much on board and it took one cash Christmas to convince him that this was the way to go um, typically we would have Christmas and we would be in debt and um, the first Christmas that we did cash Christmas he waited for the bills and they never came and he was forever a changed man. So I highly recommend <laughs> Cash Christmas to try and win your partner over. Um, number seven, if you were given $1,000 cash right now, how would you budget it and why? I think if I were given $1,000 cash, it would be very hard for me to budget it. I am very much a cash hoarder, um, which is why you did not see me do a budget my stimulus with me. You did not see me do a budget my income tax with me. We threw it all into savings. We didn't really do anything with it. Um, I don't like to spend money. It used to be my favorite thing to do and very much warm weather is a trigger for me and it makes me want to go out and spend money but then I also have um, severe buyer's guilt. Um, so I try to avoid that at all costs. But I don't really like spending money on myself. I will spend money on my kids all day, but um, spending money is hard. So if I were to get that $1,000 cash, um, I would probably throw it into savings. But to give you a better answer, if I had to budget it, I would probably um, fund my Christmas sinking fund because we do put so much of a monthly payment into our Christmas sinking fund. It would be nice to have that extra money monthly to put on our credit card or to put elsewhere. So I would probably throw it into our Christmas sinking fund. 
Number eight, if you have kids, how do you handle talking about money with your kids? If you don't have kids, what is the one lesson that you would go back in time to tell yourself about money? So I have children and how do I handle talking about money with my kids? So I just put out a video um, where I talked to you about Financial Peace Junior and I used that with my eight year old and we loved it and I highly recommend it. Um, but we do not hide money um, conversations and we don't hide any of our financial standings with our children. I think it's important that they understand the value of a dollar and how hard their dad works to earn money and how hard I work to budget it and to maintain our finances. And I think it is important that they know that. I don't hide any of that from them. Um, we don't lament on things to try and make them feel bad. Like, do you know how much money your toys cost? Do you have any idea what we go through? Um, it's just very much a conversation about you need to work to earn money and you earn this money and um, you know it took an hour to make the money to pay for this or um, just very honest conversations. So um, I definitely want them to have a full, full education and a full understanding about how money works in their world. Number nine, how has budgeting changed your life? I think the question is more how has budgeting not changed my life would probably be a shorter answer. But budgeting has totally changed my life. It has changed my marriage. It has changed my um, relationship with money. And um, it has provided us with the opportunity to buy our first home. It has brought so many wonderful things into my life. Um, it has afforded me things that I never thought I would be able to afford in my life, like an all cash vacation. Um, it just really has totally changed my whole life. So there really isn't a simple answer for that one. Um, and number 10, what is your biggest financial goal of 2021? Um, my personal biggest goal for 2021 financially would be to pay off our credit card. We were consumer debt free. Um, we bought a house in 2020, September of 2020, and we got into the house. The inspection was wonderful and um, did not realize that there was long term water damage well beneath what no inspector would be able to see anyways. Um, and we eventually, <laughs> we had to replace our entire kitchen, um, which was not in our budget. And with two children um, that we homeschool and we had already moved into this home, we couldn't go without a kitchen. So we had to put it on our credit card, unfortunately. Um, so my goal is to not have that debt very long and to have it paid off by the end of the year. That way we can just start throwing some really heavy money at having that six months of emergency fund saved up. So that is my goal for this year. So that is it. Those are the 10 questions. I'm gonna leave them down below. If you decide to make this video, please tag me in it. I love watching videos like this, which is why I wanted to make one and I couldn't find one for the budgeting community. So I decided to make one myself. So I hope that you like it. I hope that you participate. And again, please tag me in it if you decide to. Otherwise, any comments or questions, leave them down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you like videos like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notifications of my next one. I hope to check you guys out on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.